Welcome to ABC 123 Trader. This is an introduction video of the ABC 123 Trend Cloud Indicator. When I started my uh, journey of uh, ABC 123 and started developing indicators for, you know, for other traders out there, this is one of my first indicators that I built. And I was uh, trying to help some other traders out there at that time and, and also just trying to find key signals of when to enter and exit trades. So let's get into the details of, of what we're looking at at the ABC123 Trend Cloud Indicator. So what we have is we have, we'll start on the backgrounds. We have green backgrounds, gray backgrounds, and red backgrounds. And it doesn't matter what type of chart that you're trading. So let's see if we do a 15 minute chart here. Or let's see if we can do, uh, let's say a thousand tick chart. Okay. What it will do on the, on the backgrounds, it was, is trying to verify a strong enough trend. And once we have that trend confirmed, it gives you uh, more confidence of being on the right side of the trend. We have red, we have green, uh, kind of black, and then gray. So what that means, when you have a green background is, is, is the strong, strong for an uptrend and red for strong starting as a downtrend. And the gray is kind of a transitional phase. And so w when, when you're in that transitional phase, you're not sure if it's gonna go up or down. So as you can see, when you're in a kind of a chop zone area, you get a lot of ugliness as you can see. And once you, once you start getting into a good, or a, a really nice size or good trending, you'll have that solid block. So that's one of the options that you have on the trend cloud. But you know what we're going to do is we're just going to turn off the background so we can get a little more detail of what we're looking at. Okay, so let's turn off the trend background for now. So as you can see, I says transition color is Alice blue there. Now, on the bars themselves, let's go back to a minute chart here. Or sure, I'm in the chart. What I try to do for the bars is we have uh, four kind of colors, and you can change your colors. But what you have is for red and green, and it's on both directions. See, as you see, green on one side and green on the other. Green is starting to become more of a confirmation trend. Or trade so once it gets green we're confirmed to keep on going the pink is kind of like we're saying it's kind of a pullback for maybe a second opportunity white is just entering the cloud and red is we're within the crowd it's more of a saying you know what let's see what happens when the cloud of course expands you're going to get more and more and more red okay so so when you're looking at this and when we're trending down as you can see, the pull down, pink saying, oh, possible retracement. Maybe we'll put a netra here, second pull down, and chop, chop, you know, or 2.30 in the morning. Let's go to, sure, we'll go to New York Open. New York Open, as you know, you have to really watch. We do a deep retracement, and away we go. What the yellow represents, there's two ways to read the yellow. Yellow can be a rejection or yellow can also represent early entry. This one for sure, uh, you can tell, is the rejection sign for a continuation. But when you're going on a crossover, right here, see, you get the yellow rejection we're watching, you got your pin bar. Now the yellow is telling you we're transitioning, okay? This one was a rejection, yellow, green. Okay, we're good to go. Wait, you know, you should always wait after the first impulse move, come back, and away we go. 
here we go again. Uh, this is the end of the day. We're just transitioning over, yellow early entry, and away we go again. So those are the four main colors. And then lastly, the cloud. The cloud tells you the direction of the trend. Now, the strongest signals, or I'll call, I won't say, I shouldn't say save us, but the most conservative signals, if you have the patience to wait to trade, I call this on a lot of my videos, this is called the institution line. It took me a lot, uh, it took me a while to figure out the institution line. And this I call the foundation line. Okay? So between the institution and the foundation line, if you're if you're patient enough, you'll see it will vibrate many times on the institution for your next big move. When it's taking a big move, as you can see, look how it hits the foundation. This is our foundation. See? It tapped once, it tapped twice, it tapped three times. And once it starts or start becoming within this section, I will watch to see if it will continue, but I can see the slope of the foundation is still strong enough that, you know what, we might have another attempt and we can enter our trade from here, early entry and to go again. Cause you can see everything, this cloud came up. No, not good enough and away we go again. As you can see here. And if we go back, let's just go back early enough through different areas. Okay, here. So as you can see, the slope of the foundation is still up. This is very violent, you know, breaking through, breaking through, breaking through. It's really, but everything is kind of all mixed and jarbled here. But as you can see, the direction of the slope was a minor down, and then we can get into my other indicators, how we can pinpoint it. And away we go again. Comes up 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, our London session. Slope is up. Really good air areas of interest for entries. Another good area when you get a violent area. Area of entry. Over and over and over again. Slope up. See how we're tight here. Look to the left to trade the right. Over and over. Now, you, you might ask what happened to the cloud. What I wrote... Uh, because in the earlier days, people with weaker computers, not as strong graphical cards. Because Ninja Trader and Ninja Trader 7 versus 8 has changed kind of their graphical user interface. So what I did is was, was trying to minimize uh, graphics in some areas in order uh, for your performance on, on your computer. Okay? So that's, that's, the, that's the basic gist of, of um, the trend cloud is... We always say, uh, always trade the trend, you know, once you get early enough in the trend, because the market makers, so you can see, the market makers, there we are, perfect. The market makers made their lines in the sand for their trend. Let's go one more thing here. I'll just show you. There we go. So what I wanted to show you here from the session, the market maker will create their line in the sand. I'll call this currently right now the market maker line. This is this this is the area that they wanted to keep their price level. So what this section was originally for going up on an uptrend was trying to grab more stops to keep on going. Other than that, uh, thank you very much for watching this video and and you guys have a great day. Take care